Shalom, Shalom. Giving all praises to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai Ba Shem Rukakodash. Giving all praises to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai Ba Shem Rukakodash. Now you see this woman; she's a newscaster on uh, ABC. Um, I'm trying to see her name there. To give you the name when you watch the the interview, this she's interviewing uh, Nick Cannon over the whole controversy of the interview with Professor Griff. Now look at look at her. You you dealing with a chick? You took her out wherever you took her out, whether it be Wendy's or Red Lobster. You take her home. She's sitting there looking at you like that. You know you ain't gonna get none, right? Right? She's, the, the legs is folded. The arms are folded. She's looking like you, looking at you like she want to bite it, bite you. Anyway, the title of this video is Eve is E's number one pit bull. That's right, I said it. Eve is E's number one pit bull. She smile like a baby, but she bite like a gator. Inside joke. Anyway, okay, it says Nick Cannon on making amends after anti sem I, I can't even say it all out. They might, damn. Crucify me. The truth, man, is catching up to you devils, man. And you are a bunch of devils. Uh, so anyway, watch this video. I, I only got it to not even two minutes in. It's a seven minute, a little bit more than seven minute long. And she's a trained pit bull for E, you know, for the small hats. You know, they put the pressure on this dude. They put the, they put the claws in his back. Anyway, this, let me, let me come back over here. And this is going to be super short. All right, so, so mark the scene. Okay, so this is the actual interview. This is the actual interview. Uh, the band, Nick Cannon, controversial video, Cannon, Cannon's class with Professor Griff. This was put up by uh, Kingdom Harbinger Ministries, which is uh, uh, Divine Prospect. And he's going in. I'm, I'm listening to a couple, I forget the, the marker. I'm into it for about maybe three, four minutes or so. And he's going in. You know, he's going all the way back to when he was the road manager, because that's what he says. He was a road manager of a public enemy. And um, he goes into, what was the book? Uh, the book that he got. Um, you got to watch this whole thing. <clears throat> and, he, and he reads it. And he has an interview with somebody. You'll learn who the person that he interviewed. Uh, I believe it was a Jake. His girlfriend was a, was a small hat. They had a good interview. The small hat chick comes in and she's looking like she want to bite Professor Grip head off. So that's that whole thing. So he's going back in the time. We're going talking, what, 30 years? 25, 30 years? More like 30 years? You know? But anyway, you watch this and then you come back and and then she, even she's mad. She's like that N, that N word. But anyway, where am I? Where am I? Oh, this right here, this shows you how they feel about us. These are comments of these different small hats. In reality, they hate you and they are the devil. And they might just take this video down because of me just talking about it. Okay, this is him. There's a bunch of uh, tweets back and forth. Uh, this is him. It said, I, I have decided to take some time away from my radio show so I can commit myself to deeper, more thorough reflection and education. What is he saying? I got to re-educate myself. What he's really saying is he's got to re-educate himself, meaning you can't say that stuff and be in the... In the you know, as uh, D.L. Hoogley said, you can't be in the mainstream media and be a radical at the same time. There's certain, there's rules to this game, son. Let me come back over here. 
Okay, Nick Cannon, anyone knows me, knows that I have no hate in my heart. <coughs> okay, this is a small hat. Simon Wiesen, Wiesenthal Center. Anyone seeking a PhD in Jew hatred should watch this interview in its entirety, Rabbi Abraham Abraham Cooper. So he all they did was sp spoke about truth. All he came out, anything he said was about truth. What no? And they even said it when you watch the actual video. Let me come back over here, and I'm gonna get ready to close it. All right, so when you watch the beginning of the video, he says this was this had nothing to do with hate. I don't have no hate in my heart for these people. He says all that. But then they labored, uh, this, is, this was a conversation of hate, the interview of hate, you see? So, you know, you wanna know who, who controls everything? If you talk about a particular group or a particular person and they come down on you, that's, that's the per person that's in uh, control, all right? So like I said, I just wanna make this short. Um, uh, this is, uh, okay, this is the band interview. And then you have uh, Nick Cannon fired after controversial comments, GMA, which is Good Morning America, uh, which is uh, oh, ABC. Let me click on it again. You got a damn commercial. Good Morning America. I mean, you can watch these other, you know, thumbnails and whatnot, but they show you, man, the truth, the truth hurts. There's a saying, the truth hurts, and it does hurt. Because they'll turn around and say, you, may, you said the truth, but you really, you really hate me. Anyway, with that, Shalom.